Donald Sterling has been barred from all NBA events or anything NBA related. He can't show up. And all of this is because his girlfriend recorded him saying something about not wanting black people in a certain event. And it wasn't while he was in work. It was in the privacy of his home or his car or something like that. So basically she eagerly reported that to the thought police without his knowledge. And now he has to pay a $2.5 million fine. And face being barred for life, which, considering the fact that he's his net worth is billions, I don't know what his net income is, and that he basically he's eighty, so it may not be as harsh for him, but we got to put things into perspective here. If you or I, if we were recorded without our knowledge, and anything we said that pissed off the thought police was recorded and sent to them, we probably face nasty consequences too. If I was talking and making jokes about, I don't know, how stupid and ugly, basically essentially bullying a co-worker of mine or talking shit about my boss. If I were to do that and someone would record me in the privacy of my own home, and then, without my knowledge of course, and then send it to that person and send it to the thought police, maybe I said something that was politically incorrect, like I called him a faggot or something. The consequences of that happening to everybody would be ridiculous. We would all be paying dumb fines or be on probation or basically get fired. The consequences would be ridiculous. Now thankfully this didn't happen in 2019. Otherwise it could be a First Amendment violation. This has nothing to do with First Amendment right now because the NBA isn't working for the government, it's a non-profit organization with for-profit teams. So hypothetically speaking, if this could only be a First Amendment violation if, let's say, he got imprisonment charges for hate speech. Which in 2019, I bet he probably would. If this NBA thing existed in Sweden, he probably would face charges for hate crime, for hate speech. But no, he's just being fined by the team, banned from anything NBA related, and he'll possibly have to sell his clipper scene. Which, I don't really mind, hopefully, if he does sell it, if he has to do it, it's sold to somebody that can give the Clippers a championship win. That's something I'm looking forward to, if that would make a difference, since they are a great team. And they're damn well better than the Lakers at the moment. So, in both ends, it's not a freedom of speech violation. His First Amendment rights were to violate it. But this wasn't okay. This wasn't okay because if you apply what happened universally, if you actually thought about it. The thought policing, the fact that he, his commentary, which was pretty much joking, was recorded without him knowing by 
his shitty ass girlfriend. If you put all this together, you can see that this isn't virtuous at all what happened. This is snitching. For For any of the black people that were butthurt about this, if you are one of those people, isn't this snitching? I mean, snitching sucks. People don't like snitches. Snitches get stitches. Nobody likes rats. Why all of a sudden is this okay? Because it's related to black people? Because he says something mean about black people? That's not a valid excuse. That's short-sighted and it's selfishness without serving yourself. This doesn't help anybody. This only hurts everybody universally because it's advancing, it's a precedent for thought policing, which I've said 50 times in this video. All of a sudden, we're not supposed to think certain things, even if they're just satirical or to be funny. That's not allowed. Now, what if a show like The Boondocks was removed for something of this nature? Because it almost was until they found out that the people working on this show were mostly black, including Aaron Magruder. You'd probably be pissed, too. I'd be pissed, since I love the Boondocks much more so than I love the NBA. Anyways, this is Mr. Rocket 7, and suck my dick.